Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to give a brief multivariable calculus tutorial. Now, multivariable calculus is a very rich and complex topic, and attempting to cover all of the material that is presented in a multivariable calculus course wouldn't really be possible in a five minute video. But here we're going to discuss two of the core concepts that are used throughout multivariable calculus. So first, let's take a look at this function, f of x and y, which takes x and y and produces a number. So for example, you might see f of 3 comma 1, which would indicate that we put in 3 squared times 1, which is equal to 9. So what are some of the interesting things that we can do with a multivariable function? First, there's the concept of a partial derivative, which is indicated with this symbol. It's read df dx, for example. What we want to do here is take the derivative of f with respect to x. And for the time being, we're going to pretend that y is just a constant, which essentially allows us to use the same differentiation rules that we would use in single variable calculus. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. And since here we are pretending for the moment that y is a constant, we simply multiply by that constant. And we get 2xy. And we can do the same for the partial derivative with respect to y. Well, the derivative of y with respect to y is just 1. And here, we are assuming that x squared is now a constant. So we get x squared times 1, or simply x squared. One interesting aspect of partial derivatives is that we can go further than this, taking second or third derivatives. But unlike single variable calculus, here it is important which variables are being used. So let's just erase these real quick. So we know that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is x squared. We can now take partial derivative of f with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Though this is a somewhat cumbersome notation, we typically use a subscript. So f sub y x. This indicates that you take the partial derivative of f with respect to y, and then take the partial derivative of that with respect to x. And here, we simply take the derivative of this x squared with respect to x, and we get 2x. Awesome. So the second concept that is frequently used in multivariable calculus is the idea of a double integral, sometimes referred to as an iterated integral. So let's take a look at the integral of, of, of xy, let's say from 0 to 2 dx. But then outside of that, we'll do the integral from, let's say, 1 to 3, of all of this dy. Here you see we have two integral signs. Whenever this comes up in multivariable calculus, one way to think about it is draw big brackets or parentheses around the sets of integrals. So what this is telling us to do is take this integral with respect to x of this function compute it at 2 and 0, subtract accordingly, then whatever function you get out of that, you take the integral of that from 1 to 3 with respect to y. It's a somewhat longer process, but the tools used are essentially no different than ordinary calculus. Where at, just as before, when we were doing our partial derivatives, when we were doing this interior integral with respect to x, for the time being, we assume that y is a constant. 
then we move to the outside and do our integral with respect to y, we assume that x is a constant. Again, there are a lot more complicated topics within the field of multivariable calculus, but partial derivatives and int iterated integrals are two of the most important. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just given a brief multivariable calculus tutorial.